So what makes you go from the AID, this focus on international Africa, Asia, to the Community Relations Service where it's exclusively domestic? How, I, how does this? Well, uh, it partly it was the Vietnam War. Uh, I opposed the Vietnam War. Um, I went to Vietnam in 62, 63, and I just saw it was a loser. Uh, I also saw something white people didn't see, that it was a racist war. Um, not so much that we wanted to kill people of color, but that we couldn't fully appreciate the tenacity, the ingenuity, um, and the power of the dream that these people had. Um, and so we undervalued them as an enemy. And so we made all of these really wildly stupid prognostications. Uh, McNamara was then saying that the war be over uh, by the summer of 65, end of 65 at the late. Well, you just go on the ground. You see that that was not true. And uh, so I came back and I opposed it, and I opposed it fervently. Um, and I lost. I mean, the whole consensus in official mm -hmm. war. And I was a kid, you know, I was so, and black to boot, so. Mm -hmm. um, and my career then, if I were, uh, uh, you know, there was some thought that maybe I'd transfer into the uh, Foreign Service, but my career would have had to have gone through Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And I was not going to go and, uh, and, uh, be involved in an effort that I thoroughly believe to be wrong and mistaken. Meanwhile, you guys were stirring it up in the South, mm -hmm. and um, um, I just felt that uh, it was time for me to get back into what was really most relevant to me. So you go to the Community Relations Service, and in short order, bam, Watts explodes. and. You go there. What do you see when you go there? Um, I guess Cleveland to the tenth power. Mm -hmm. I see an isolated, um, despised, cut off black community, uh, underserved by every measure. I remember uh, the, my first trip to Watts by myself, or without without my boss was with the head, the top staff man in the Los Angeles Human Relations Commission, mm -hmm. black guy, and who subsequently worked for me at AID. And we're driving, he said, I'm glad to be able to take you down here. He said, you know, um, I haven't been to Watts in 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, the bus, I mean, you couldn't even get a place on the bus. He wanted mm -hmm. to go to a clinic. It would take you three quarters of a day. Um, uh, no health services in the community, schools were lousy. I mean, just an island of, of, of nothing. And I'd been to Selma, mm -hmm. and I'd been to other southern towns, and this was the same pattern repeated in northern cities. So it deepened my conviction that um, we really had to pay attention to the north. And uh, so now, uh, by the end of Watts, I'm fully engaged in the uh, whole idea that there has to be a northern wing to the government's uh, civil rights efforts. 